what's up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video i'm going to be explaining to you exactly what tcp ip is and all of its glory so let's get into it the tcp ip protocol suite this is the foundation of the modern internet and most local area networks and tcp ip it stands for transmission control protocol internet protocol and this is a set of communication protocols used to interconnect network devices and ensure data transmission across networks and in this video we're going to be talking about exactly what tcp ip is its history components how it works its layers and its importance in modern networks networking. Exactly what is the TCP IP protocol? So TCP IP, this is a suite of communication protocols used to connect network devices on the internet. It defines how data should be packaged, transmitted, and received over a network. And TCP IP is designed to be robust, scalable, and flexible, enabling it to support the vast and growing complexity of modern networks. All right, so let's go over some of the key characteristics of TCP IP. The first characteristic is it has a layered architecture. So TCP IP follows a layered approach, dividing communication tasks into four distinct layers. It is interoperable, so it ensures that devices from different manufacturers can communicate seamlessly. It is scalable. It is designed to accommodate networks of all sizes, from small local networks to the global internet, and it is reliable. So it ensures data integrity and delivery delivery through error detection, correction, and retransmission mechanisms. All right, so let's talk about the history of TCP IP real quick. So the development of TCP IP, this was driven by the need for a robust and flexible communication protocol for the ARPANET, which is the precursor to the modern internet. And here are some key milestones in the history of TCP IP. So back in the 60s, the concept of packet switching was developed, which laid the groundwork for modern networking. Back in 1969, ARPANET, which was the first packet switch network, this was created by the Advanced Research Projects Agency, which stands for ARPA, of the United States Department of Defense. Back in 1974, a guy named Vince Cerf and another guy named Bob Kahn, they published the seminal paper titled A Protocol for Packet Network Intercommunication, which outlined the principles of TCP IP. Back in 1982, the Department of Defense adopted TCP IP as a standard for all military computer networking. In 83, ARPANET transitioned to using TCP IP, making the beginning of its widespread adoption. And throughout the 80s and 90s, TCP IP became the standard protocol suite for the growing internet, eventually replacing earlier protocols like NCP. And TCP IP, it comprises several protocols, each serving a specific purpose in the communication process. And the two main components are as follows. So you have TCP, which stands for Transmission Control Protocol, and this is responsible for ensuring reliable data transmission between devices. It establishes a connection, manages data transfer, and ensures that data is delivered in the correct order and without errors. And then we have the Internet Protocol, or the IP component, and this is responsible for addressing and routing data packets between devices. It defines the format of data packets and provides mechanisms for addressing and routing them to their destinations. And there are some other essential protocols within the TCP IP suite, and some of them are User Datagram Protocol or UDP, and this is a connection list protocol that allows for fast but less reliable data transmission. We have what is called ICMP or the Internet Control Message Protocol, and this is used for error reporting and network diagnostics. You have ARP or Address Resolution Protocol. This resolves IP addresses to MAC addresses on a local network. You have DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, and this automatically assigns IP addresses to devices on the network. You have FTP or File Transfer Protocol. This facilitates file transfers between devices. And then we have HTTP or Hypertext Transfer protocol and this is the foundation of data communication on the web all right so let's talk about how tcp ip works so tcp ip it operates by breaking down communication tasks into smaller manageable layers each responsible for specific functions so here is a simplified overview of how tcp ip actually works 
First, we have what is called data encapsulation. So data from an application is passed down through the layers of the TCP IP stack, where it is encapsulated with the necessary protocol headers at each layer. Then we have what is called packetization. So TCP IP divides the data into smaller segments, adds a TCP header to each segment, and passes them to the IP layer. And then IP then encapsulates these segments into packets, adding its own header. Next, you have what is called addressing and routing. So IP addresses and routes packets to their destination based on the IP address in the packet headers and routers in the network. They use the addresses to determine the best path for the packets. Then we have transmission. So packets are transmitted over the network, potentially passing through multiple routers and networks before reaching their destination. And then we have what is called decapsulation. So at the destination, the entire process is reversed. The IP layer removes the IP headers and the TCP layer reassembles the segments into the original data, which is then passed to the appropriate application. All right, so moving on, let's talk about the layers of the TCP IP model. So the TCP IP model comprises four layers, each corresponding to specific functions in the communication process. And the layers are as follows. So you have what is called the link layer, and this is also known as the network interface or data link layer. And this handles the physical connection between devices. It includes protocols and hardware necessary for transmitting data over physical media, such as Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Then we have the internet layer and the internet layer is responsible for addressing routing and packaging data packets and its key components include ip arp and icmp we have the transport layer and this ensures reliable data transfer between devices it includes tcp for connection oriented communication and udp for connection list communication and then we have the application layer and this provides protocols for specific network applications such as http for web browsing ftp for file transfer and smtp for emails all right, so let's talk about the importance of TCP IP in modern networking. So TCP IP, this is the backbone of the internet and most local networks providing several critical benefits. First benefit is that of interoperability. So TCP IP, this ensures that devices from different manufacturers can communicate seamlessly, promoting a universal standard for networking. There's scalability. So TCP IP is designed to support networks of all sizes, from small local networks to the vast global internet. There's reliability. So TCP IP includes mechanisms for error detection, correction, and retransmission, ensuring reliable data delivery. There's flexibility. So the modular architecture of TCP IP, this allows for the development and integration of new protocols and technologies without disrupting existing systems. And then there's network management. So TCP IP includes protocols for network management, diagnostics, and configuration, enabling efficient administration and troubleshooting of networks. All right, then that leads us to real world applications of TCP IP. So TCP IP is used in various real world networking scenarios, enabling a wide range of applications. So obviously we use it for internet communication. So TCP IP, this is the foundational protocol suite for internet communication, enabling web browsing, email, online gaming, and much more. We have local area networks. So it is used in local area networks to connect computers, printers, and other devices within an organization organization, allowing for file sharing, printing, and internet access. There are wide area networks, so organizations use TCP IP to connect geographically dispersed networks, facilitating communication and data exchange across large distances. We use it in VPNs, so TCP IP supports VPNs, which allows for secure encrypted communication over public networks. There's cloud computing, so TCP IP is integral to cloud computing, enabling the seamless connection and interaction between cloud services and on-premises systems. And then there's the Internet of Things. So TCP IP is used in IoT to connect and manage a wide array of devices from smart home gadgets to industrial sensors, enabling data collection and automation. Then that leads us to future trends and developments of TCP IP. So as technology continues to evolve, TCP IP will adapt to meet new challenges and opportunities. And some future trends and developments include the following. So there's IP version six adoption. So with the exhaustion of IP version four addresses, the adoption of IP version six is increasing, providing a vastly larger address space and improved routing efficiency. There's enhanced security. So ongoing developments and network security 
security will integrate with TCP IP to provide stronger protection against cyber threats. There's improved quality of service, so enhancements in QoS mechanisms will ensure better performance for latency-sensitive applications like video conferencing and online gaming. There's integration with emerging technologies, so TCP IP will continue to integrate with emerging technologies such as 5G, edge computing, and AI, enabling new applications and services. And then there's scalability for IoT, so TCP IP will evolve to support the massive scale and diverse requirements of IoT, ensuring efficient communication and management of billions of connected devices. So to wrap all of this up, the TCP IP protocol suite, this is the cornerstone of modern networking, enabling seamless communication and data exchange across the internet and local networks. By understanding the components, how it works and its layers, we can appreciate the critical role TCP IP plays in our connected world. From its historical development to its real world applications and future trends, TCP IP continues to be an essential technology, driving innovation and enabling new possibilities in communication and networking. So whether you're an IT professional, a student, or simply someone interested in networking, a solid understanding of TCP IP is invaluable for navigating and leveraging the complexities of modern digital communication.